All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Freedom Shack, and uh, it's been a long time since I've actually done anything on this table. If you're new to the channel, this is uh, my big-time review table. This thing is like five foot, six foot across, and we've got about three or four feet in depth, but it makes it for a great platform to go ahead and show you a bunch of really cool things, and we're going to be doing those in a near day or two. Also, we've taken the refrigerator just behind me and turned that thing into a double kegerator. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So in any case... Yeah, so let's talk about this. Um, anytime I get a new project, it always stems from somebody sending me something to review. Uh, I got this little guy right here. This is the 507C, and this is their GR. So it is the green radical in there with the uh, Raptor, I believe this is. No, this is the Vulcan, the Vulcan Raptor, Vulcan. And this has the Chevron with the circle in it. So I had a couple of other pistols that I was thinking about doing uh, an adventure with. And then all of a sudden, the boys over there at Live Free Army decided, hey, John, we want to send you uh, one of our Glock 19 slides. Now, I know these guys were delving into a bunch of other stuff. As a matter of fact, they sent me this, guys. This is the LFA. This is their 320 Elite, LF320 Elite. This is a great pistol. And I put on here uh, raised suppressor sights. Even though there's not a uh, threaded barrel on it, I just like the idea of being able to co-witness with the uh, <laughs> Vulcan reticle in here with the chevron in the circle. And it made for a really, really nice pistol. And then, you know, with the Grey Ghost guns or whatever they call those triggers, very nice. So this is more, in my mind, I'm going to put this on a rig and just keep it there, like on my chest or something like that. So anyway, great pistol. And then all of a sudden they send me this guy right here. I'm not sure exactly what these things are uh, going for on retail. Uh, LiveFreeArmy.com is where you can find these guys. But at the end of the day, this is their Combat 19. And I think if the quality, the workmanship of this guy is impeccable. The only problem is now I had to go out and buy myself one of these things right here. Now, the, I thought for a second I'd just go ahead and put it on this thing, but the slide itself is modeled after uh, Gen 3. So you can see that little booger right there. So I'm like, man, because I love the Glock 19. All right, and I love the Glock 19. I know at the very beginning of my YouTube channel, I didn't like them, but boy, I'll tell you what, uh, the ergonomics of this guy, absolutely incredible. And also, when you buy this, you can't use the Gen 5, Gen 4 spring. You got to go to the Gen 3 spring because of that little opening right there. Yeah. So what did I have to do? <laughs> well, first of all, I decided I'm just going to keep this thing whole. Okay. Uh, th my wife loves this firearm. My neighbor loves this guy. And it's just a good all around combat gun. What are its weaknesses? The trigger sucks. Could I replace it? Yes. Matter of fact, and this guy, and this is why these things cost me my, so much money, the Alpha Glock. Now I can pick this up off a of Big Daddy Unlimited, got it at a bargain, almost 100, 100, well, no, I think the Midwest Gun Supplier, somebody like that Big Daddy was out of sale, but they were basically the same price, uh, and these were on sale. But anyway, I digress. I ended up having to buy a whole new upper kit for the slide, okay, as well as a new set of Trigicon uh, night sights, just like this suppressor. Now, I am going to go ahead and throw a threaded barrel on this guy, so... The sites are coming in on Tuesday. Ordered those from uh, Primary Arms. They were on sale for like $90. So I was like, shit, let's just go ahead and do that. The upper uh, build kit's coming in. I don't know uh, when it is. I can't track it for some stupid reason. But I had to go ahead and buy a lower frame. Now, I thought for a second I'd go ahead and do a P80. And then I saw this guy right here. This I ordered from Big Daddy Unlimited. This is the Lone Wolf. This is their TWC One Bear. And the reason I like this is it has the full frame grip, the full grip, okay? Just like the 19. And because I have a big hand, I don't like the 19 grip, which is, I saw it, I fell in love with it. I was like, man, I, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in this. 120 bucks. Uh, 124 delivered. So anyway, <laughs> the peculiar part about this is that if you order a Gen 3 lower parts kit or build kit, it's going to come with the Gen 3, just like this one, that guy right there, uh, magazine ejector button switch, whatever you call that thing. So I had to go ahead and order it with the Gen 4, 
And I was like, well, what other parts do I need to order? You got a block, uh, the block thing here, and you got a trigger housing because you can go ahead and get rid of all the springs and everything when you got this. And I was like, screw it. Just so much easier, just go ahead and order all the parts and pieces and lower parts and we throw away what we don't need. All right, now what are we gonna do? Uh, what I'm gonna do is we'll probably do a review on each one of these pieces as we put it together. Uh, there's so many videos of showing people how to put this thing together, but I'm gonna show you the parts and pieces. We're gonna put it all together and we're gonna see how they perform. So I was talking to a good friend the other day and he and I were talking about this and he said he was having a bunch of problems. And I actually looked up some video reviews, Mike over there at Guns and Gear. He told uh, uh, everybody about some issues that he was having. And uh, so we'll, it'll be interesting to see how this thing all works out. I will tell you this, it will not work with my favorite holster of all time, the Vetter holster. Matter of fact, I was doing a little look-see over this thing. You can see where I've had to replace some screws, and now I've got a crack right there. I've worn this thing every day for probably three or four years. I love this guy. Anyhow, uh, so we're going to have to figure out a new holster uh, for this deal. I might even modify or go ahead, and I'll probably do a custom, custom stippling job on that. But look at that. I love that frame. The angle of the grip, the angle of the dangle, is uh, just a little bit vertical, more vertical than the Glock 19. You can see right there. Uh, Glock 19 mags or 19X mags work just fine. I'm looking forward to doing some of that, but I love what we have here is this little magwell system. Yeah, me personally, I'm going to go ahead and grind these things so they're blended a little bit better. You can take it off if you want, but I like it. It's not too aggressive to wear if I'm wearing this under my clothing. I don't have to worry about all that. Now, that being said, we'll go ahead and smooth out some of these areas with some stuff, sandpaper. But yeah, there it is, man. Uh, didn't think I could ever replace the 19X, but I'm thinking when I get done with this bad boy, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And that's what it's going to eventually look like with that red trigger. So with that being said, guys, next little project is going on. We've still got a lot of other things going on. I've got some adjustable gas blocks. We do have the rifle, the 65 Creedmoor, that's going out to the guys up there, the Crazy Scotsman, for uh, uh, 22 a day. i got to get that thing running right before we put it out. And, uh, yeah, ended up seeing some photos of the new range down here in North Carolina. We will be going out there doing a full-blown review on that thing so you guys can see exactly what that looks like. But really cool-looking carry gun. And then uh, attach a titanium suppressor on the front of this guy, and that'll be cool. So what we'll do, once we get it put all together, I'll show you guys how it operates. Hopefully it runs like a champ. If not, well, I don't know. Back to the old drawing board. But Live Free Armory, thank you very much for sending the slide out. Primary Arms, thanks very much for providing that Vulcan ACSS. <laughs> Uh, 507CGRX2. And then I bought this from the great guys over there at Big Daddy Unlimited. So, guys, there's a bunch of sales items over there off of KB32TAC.com. Also, want to give a big thanks and shout out to the guys at Callaway Ballistics. Uh, there's a link on there for that. Use the word KB32TAC discount code to get free shipping on orders over $200. And they just started making 38 special. So, anyway, that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's worth the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. This is a, a P80 that I did a while back. And this has got that rock slide armory slide on it. And yeah, they're made in the USA right down there in Florida. So we'll be uh, leaving it at that. But that's a pretty cool pistol, too. Y'all be good. Boom. I'm out of here. Wow. Look at that thing. Isn't it pretty?